last night, got a little bit wet. Gonna put some lockers on little brother here. Um, I put lockers on Slumdog, uh, tested them out at Big Earns Proving Grounds. Um, beautiful, I loved it. Uh, gonna do the same to little brother, make it ready for Mojave Trail, and should be awesome. I adjusted my brakes and serviced my rear axle. I'm running a Dana 44 with 488 gears, 19 spline. It has a power lock limited slip in it that runs very well on this Jeep. Once I button up the back axle, I got started on the front where I installed lockers on my Dana 27. Hard time. Get out of there. Woo. Goodness. Here we go. Game 27. Biggers Proving Grounds right there.
figure in here. Took little brother out, test the front lockers. Got a Dana 27 in the front. It has a, um, it has a posi in it. And that's what I was wondering if it was gonna be any good in the off-road. And uh, as you can see out here, we pretty much did all these trails right here. So I would say that's a winner. Chicken dinner current status. I'm not going to be rock punching on this thing. This is basically a Mojave Trail type deal, uh, which is exactly like this road right here. So I am very happy. And a little brother hopefully uh, gets me through the Mojave Trail. Our plan is to start off at 0400 in San Bernardino and travel approximately 100 miles up the 15 freeway past Barstow to the start point near Yermo. We'll call that phase line red. Phase line blue will take us across the Mojave Road Trail 140 miles to the Arizona border. Phase line green is how we get back. We'll take the highway down to Route 66 and drive Route 66 all the way back to San Bernardino. About a 500 mile round trip. All right, we're getting packed up, getting ready to go. We we'll leave tomorrow. Got into Yermo about 0600, so we stopped off at Penny's Diner for some breakfast. After breakfast, we took a little cruise over to Liberty Park. Take a look. Liberty Sculpture Park is owned by a Chinese immigrant that fled communism. He has erected these sculptures to promote freedom and the love for the United States. Here to the end, it's 140 miles. Let's do it. In the 1860s, the U.S. established Camp Katy to keep the Mojave Road open to travelers and mail coming in from the Arizona territories. 
After Camp Katie, we drove a short distance to the Mannix Wash, where we aired down and jumped into the sand. took the trail up to Afton Canyon, Mojave River, water crossing. I was a little worried because my little 1944 Willys Jeep named Little Brother did not have much clearance. Before I left, I measured 15 inches to the locking hubs and 30 inches to the top of the tire. So when I got to the water crossing, I already had my swimming trunks on and was planning to walk into the water to measure the depth. But once I got there, thought about it for a second, and said, screw it, let's do it. Terry's running 33s on his blazer, and Eric back there in the water, he's running 33s too. I'd say that water is about 15 inches deep today. One down, one more to go.
<laughs> Badass. The second crossing is a little bit deeper. You can see Eric, he's running 33 inch tires. I would say it's probably about 24 inch deep. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> Get all that sand off us. Yeah. Hey, that was a good one. <laughs> we finished up with those two big crossings and uh, headed into the rest of Afton Canyon and all the way up the Mojave Trail to Laughlin.
Gurren, 2022. Yeah, we did, huh? 60, about 60 miles, 50, something like that. I think there's a grave over here.
This is Marl Springs. I guess water comes out of here. This is the spring. Feeds a little spot over there. And it looks like there's water here. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is the old horse stables. We make camp here tonight. We're almost halfway. We almost did halfway in one day. 